Hi, I'm Nima and today I'm going to be here with Amanda. Can you please help me with your surname? Machaga. On the Nima show. Amanda, I'm going to be asking you a few questions. Is that okay with you? Yes, definitely okay with me. Okay. So what, what is a philanthropist? So a philanthropist, in the easiest way that I can explain it, is someone with a big heart who helps people, um, whether they're using their resources or whatever means that they have to make someone else's life better. Okay. So who, who is Amanda Machaka? Well done, you said it very well actually, that was correct. So Amanda Machaga is a child of God first and foremost. I am a mother, I am a wife and um, I just learned that I don't need to define myself by what I do. So I usually do not uh, say what I do in introducing myself, but to basically say that I am a child of God and I am on a mission here on earth to do the work that God has sent me to do. Um, how do you know what work God has sent you to do? So at some point in life when you walk with God, there is an inner voice, you know. Um, it is the whisper of the Holy Spirit um, that nudges you and tells you uh, what you are here for. So when you have had that walk with God, is able the Holy Spirit in you is able to uh, point you to the right direction to say, this is what I've called you to do. So each and every one of us has a plan like, and a purpose that God has sent them with on earth. What does define mean? Define? Yeah, define. You know, when I say that I don't define myself by what I do, it means I don't um, base my life on what I do, for instance, like a job that I do, yeah. but what my purpose in life is, like what I was sharing with you now, what God wants me to do. T tell us more about South African Heroes and how it started. So, South African Heroes Awards started through a platform that I started in 2015 called South African Positive News. So I've worked in a newsroom for many, many years. So in the newsroom, there's like uh, sad stories that we have to tell, right? And some of these sad stories, they make people sad. And so when they're sad, they don't want to watch the news, they don't want to read the news, they don't want to listen to the news. So I thought, okay, what can we give people who, you know, are made sad by the news because they're looking for something to uplift them? So I thought, okay, we also have some good news in our country, not only the sad news. So South African positive news tells good news stories, positive news stories. So I thought, okay, we don't have to only end there. Let us also have awards that are going to celebrate the people that are doing good. So that's how uh, South African Heroes Awards started. Well, is there more? good news than bad news or is there more bad news than good news? From the look of things, one would think there's more bad news than good news. You know why? Why? Because we tell a lot of bad news more than the good news. Actually, there's a lot of good news. But if only we take time to find the good news and tell it, then we will know actually there is more good than bad. So yeah, there is more good news than bad news. The, do, what is that bad news though? What is? Bad news would be like, you know, when you hear in the news about people that have been, let's say maybe people that have been robbed, people that have been killed, um, natural disasters, like maybe there's been floods and some people died in those floods or maybe there's been shack fires and people lost their belongings you know that's that's not something good it's something that you know that is sad and and is bad so that's what makes uh, bad news what kind of news do you report though so when i work for the sabc 
where I work at the moment, it's mainly sad news, but it's not only sad news, it's also information, you know? Uh, because people need to know about what is happening around them. Like in our country at the moment, we are preparing for elections. So we have to tell people about that, you know, when they have to register for elections, where they have to register, when are elections going to take place, which political parties are there, so those kind of things. So it's information, but information can have some sad news, but it can also have just general news for people to know. So that's what I report on. And then when it comes to South African positive news, I report on good news, you know, people that are helping others. Um, if there are people that are going to bed hungry and there's someone that is giving them food, that's good news. So those are the things that you talk about in uh, South African positive news. And actually those are the people we also celebrate uh, when it comes to SA Heroes Awards. What are elections though? So elections is when we um, choose who is going to lead our country. Do you know who the president of the country is right now? Yes, Ram Cyril Ramaphosa. Yes, so we got him through elections. So now uh, it's time that we choose another president. And so people are going to go and vote for the president that they want, whether they want Cyril Ramaphosa to come back or they want another person. So that process is called elections. If they vote another person, does it make that another person the new president? Yes. So if they vote another person and that person obviously gets more, you know, votes and then they are put in the office of the president, then they'll become the next president of South Africa. Okay. You, you also are founder of Anointed Media. Yes. So Anointed Media is a media company that uh, produces SA positive news that I shared about, yeah. you know. And then we also run public relations and anointed media. So we get clients that need help with whether it's a product that they, they have launched, a small business or they are a singer and they want their music known by the public and they want us to help them to take their music out there or their product out there or um, their small business to be known about. And so we use different media platforms to reach the audiences that they want to talk to. So that's what we do. And we also do um, content production for radio for now, but we're also hoping that we can do for television and also online media. Yeah. And do you also run a media company? Yes, that is uh, Anointed Media, um, yeah. the one that I was uh, sharing, you, uh, sharing to you about. So yeah, I do. Do you like it though? I do, I really like it. Um, I've always wanted to do media work, but specifically radio. And through my radio work, I actually grew uh, my love for the media and um, extended it to anointed media, online media. And um, like I said earlier, like wanting to do content for TV as well. So yes, I do love it. Oh, okay, so can you take us through your career as a news presenter? Okay, so when I was a little girl, about your age, I, uh, so I was raised by my grandmother, yeah. um, together with my cousins, so we grew up in the rural areas of the Eastern Cape, in Mount Frey to be specific. So at that time, there was really nothing much happening, entertainment was radio. And so I was fascinated, you know, the voices that I would hear on radio. So I used to think that those people were inside the radio set, right? So I would go and, and go behind the radio, try to open it up so that I can see the people there. And I learned that actually they're not inside the radio. They are uh, where they are broadcasting from and the waves, the airwaves are making us to be able to hear them through the radio set. So I knew that actually that's what I want to do when I grow up. And so when I finished matric and went to university, that's exactly what I studied for. I did journalism, 
I actually did communications, it had journalism and um, yeah and then when I was finished I started working at community radio stations and then at those community radio stations so I would, I would wait, uh, depending on where I was like for instance when I was in the Eastern Cape I would be at a community radio station there uh, there was one called Ubuntu in um, Kabecha and then when I was uh, at Varsity I also made sure that I was with a community radio at, at my university and then which is basically a campus radio station then when i was in free state i found a community radio station so i always made sure that i was with the community radio station and the good thing about community radio station is that you get to do everything so i would read and write the news i would do weather report i would do traffic report i would also present a, a show you know a radio show yeah. so when i uh, moved from there to the sabc when i I was able to now to do everything. I was an all-rounder, you know. Yeah. So it helped me because I could do a lot of things. But the, the area that I ended up specializing in the most was then the news, um, the news uh, production and presenting. And currently, I am a news editor at one of the SABC radio stations. That's nice. What, Thank you. So like, if you like it so much, then what keeps you so motivated? What keeps me motivated really is making people happy, seeing people happy. And that is why I thought, you know, I can also use news to make people happy. You know, hence the South African Positive News. And then the philanthropic work that I do through Kingdom Helpers of Africa, it yes. helps me contribute towards making people happy. So making people happy is something that motivates me. And also seeing growth in the things that I do motivates me you know yeah. so I, I like um, just anything that has progress in it makes me happy is there anything that only you can do can motivate you is there anything that only you and yourself can do to make you happy apart from just giving back to the community because that makes me very happy yeah. I can also just take time to myself and forget about my kids, I love them, <laughs> but just forget about them for a moment and, 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 and they are dead and just uh, pamper myself. I love going to a spa and just have a quiet time and a downtime for myself. That makes me happy. Uh, that's, that's good news. Amanda, please share words of wisdom to me and my views. You know what, um, I love that, you know, you are so in touch and in tune with who you are because I can just tell that, you know, you know what you want. So what I would say to you and your lovely viewers is that there is only one you. You are unique and be true to that person. You don't have to compare yourself with others, you know. Yeah. Tap into the power within you and do what you know is going to make you happy and is going to make you shine because only you can do that. Thank you so much, Amanda, for speaking with me. I'm going to be asking you some icebreakers. Um, is that okay with you? That's perfectly fine with me. Okay, so the first one is, um, would you rather prefer day or night? Day. I'm, I'm more of a day person because I get to get things done in the day. Yeah. Would you rather prefer water or coffee? Water all the way. <laughs> I'm a water drinker. Why do you like to drink water? Um, it refreshes me, keeps me hydrated, contributes to, you know, a nice skin. <laughs> So yeah, and besides, um, coffee for me is, is, is not it. It gives me a heartburn. But I know that people enjoy it and there's nothing wrong with that. So then would you rather have water or cold drink? Water still. I'm not uh, very big on sugar. So yeah. Would you rather have cake or bread? What kind of bread? Brown bread. Yes. Brown bread, anytime, cake on occasion. Would you rather have a cold bath or a hot bath? 
Rather a warm one. I don't want to burn myself. Not warm, a hot, hot one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd rather take a, a cold one then. Well, but then you get itchy after. Uh, uh, maybe I can take the itch that to get burnt in a hot bath? Mm -mm. Uh, no, no. Would, would you rather... Would you rather eat worms or would you rather um, fight a lion? Ooh. What would you advise me to do? Yo. If it, if it's a you. Yo. <laughs> it's a difficult one, right? I wouldn't eat worms either. Right? Nah, that's nasty. But there are people who eat worms, do you know that? Yeah, but if they're cooked. But I'm saying if they're raw and they're still moving. No. Uh -uh. That, that's, that's really a difficult But then one. you could go to a lion park and ask them to, to fight with the lion. It's very wise. And you could have, what is a super Get some super help. Vision. Mm -hmm. So I pick fighting with the lion. That's very smart. And you know, the rangers would be there and they would help me, right? Yeah. I think so that's, which a, one would you that's pick? a good one. That fight with the lion. Obviously, with the help of those that know how to do it. <laughs> and then what if you never got help? I wouldn't choose anything then. I don't want to push myself in danger. <laughs> Would you rather swim with the frog or swim with a crocodile? A frog. <laughs> There's no danger there. Maybe I'll just get a bit of some watts that I can get some topical cream and apply to remove them. What are watts? Those, um, it's like blisters on the skin. I believe that, you know, when a frog touches you, I might be wrong, that you can get what? Oh, what, would, would you rather race with a cheetah or would you rather swim to America? Oh, I think I'll swim to America, you know why? Why? Because uh, you know, people are very smart these days. They always come up with things that do things in an easy manner. So yeah. I think there might be like some capsules that I can get in and then it shoots straight to America. Yeah, but then the sharks. <laughs> but I will be protected because I will be inside that thing. And what if they bite it off? I would make sure that they make it more strong, that nothing can, you know, um, get to it. And what if there is nothing that could, that they could make that a shark can't break through? Then I would take, you know what you advised me when you gave me a choice to fight lions? Yeah. So then I would fight the cheetah. I would have help of the people that know how to do it. Okay, thank you Amanda for having me and um, thank you for watching us. Um, this will be the end and uh, Bye. And thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for uh, inviting me. It was such an honor and I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it's an honor to meet you too.